If a house is a man's castle, what do these houses say about the people living in them? Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the most insane houses from around the world. Ever imagine how it's like living on a pole or in the sky? Well, stay tuned for number one to find out. Number 10. The Glass House. Even when looking at it from a distance, this home is definitely not like many others, and requires a certain personality and taste for those who choose to live in it. That's for most specifically people who do not care about their privacy. This house is entirely see-through and pretty much leaves nothing to the imagination. All of the walls are pretty much giant windows allowing for everybody to see into your home and bear witness to anything and everything that you do. According to the architect that designed this thing, he took inspiration from traditional tree houses. So instead of having the traditional first floor and second floor, the interior of the house is made up of different platforms set on varying heights. This gives you an impression of climbing into a tree house. Although small at only 914 square feet, the interior and the design gives you a whole lot of space for furniture and people. Thankfully, this neighborhood is not too busy, allowing for some form of privacy considering the nature of the house. But if you still need a little bit of privacy, curtains were installed in some of the rooms in the house. Hopefully in the as I'm pretty sure neighbors won't be too keen on seeing what kind of business you do in there. Number 9. Falling Water This house was designed in 1935 and has become incredibly popular over the years for many reasons. For starters, it was built over a waterfall, which is the main attraction about the house right in the center of a lush greenery. It was originally constructed to be a family weekend home for Edgar J. Kaufman's family. They use it between 1937 and 1963 as their own private getaway. Eventually, the home got deeded to the public and is now a popular tourist attraction. The home itself attracts more than 160,000 tourists per year. Unfortunately, time has not been very good to the home, which is now showing various signs of deterioration. And with the deterioration, the maintenance cost of a house like this is not something to gonk at. The outer walls must be washed very well on a regular basis and rooms are repainted as needed. Even the bathroom floor, which is made out of corkboard, needs to be replaced periodically. Overall, there is a very close watch on the home and in making sure everything is at its best. Number 8. The Clock Tower Penthouse If you're like me, you hate the sound of your alarm clock in the morning, so can you imagine living inside the clock itself? Well, the good thing is this clock doesn't chime every hour. Atop one main street in Brooklyn, New York, an iconic clock tower was transformed into a stunning triplex penthouse. Located in the trendy Dumbo or the Down Under the Manhattan Bridge overpass neighborhood, the apartment is part of an old industrial building that was originally built by cardboard manufacturers and the tower transformation project was developed by David Walentas, the man behind the Dumbo project itself. The jaw-dropping 6,813 square feet penthouse offers you a 360 degrees view of the city overlooking the Brooklyn Bridge in Manhattan. Its signature feature, however, are the four massive clocks installed in the 14-foot high round windows on each wall. The three-story apartment with the ceiling going from 16 to 50 feet in height also has a glass elevator running up to its center. The penthouse of the clock tower building entered the market in 2009 as the most expensive condo in Brooklyn, listed for $25 million. Till then, the most expensive apartment on record had cost a mere $11 million. The realtors, however, have been unsuccessful in selling the clock tower penthouse, and it's now down to $18 million. Not exactly a bargain, but hey, it's a small price to pay if you want to live in a clock. Number 7. The Flintstone House If you're a Flintstones fan or fall in a very specific age bracket, then this is one of the coolest houses ever. Like the name implies, it's a very accurate recreation of the home of the Flintstones, our favorite modern Stone Age family. It is fully functional with modern amenities, yet still holds the extremely old-school charm of the Flintstones TV show. The 2,736-square-foot home is located in sunny Malibu and was designed for TV personality Dick Clark. Designed to be more of a work of art rather than a home, it is worth $3.195 million. Definitely not cheap. Multiple architects worked on the home, trying their best to bring the iconic cartoon home into our reality. The window frames are cut in order to resemble exactly how the original Flintstones house looked like. Inside from the floor to the ceiling and walls are all made to resemble stone. Although the home is located on 28 acres of land, it is actually not that large. The home also includes access to a private beach and incredible views from high up in the hills. Number 6. The Croft House This house is a major work of architectural greatness and has been recognized as so around the world. 
It follows a very minimalist yet modern design and is located in Victoria, Australia. If you don't know exactly where it is, it's quite difficult to find as it blends with the surrounding hillsides. The home was designed by James Stockwell whose idea was to build a house that blends in with the land surrounding it. Quite unlike many of the other houses in this list, it is an easy home to maintain. That's mainly because of the materials used to build it, which are quite unusual. Zinc, among other metals, was used as well as compressed sand, resulting into a surprisingly sturdy structure. The home is surrounded by wide ceiling-to-floor windows, allowing for a lot of natural sunlight to enter the residence. A great feature about this house is that it's incorporated with solar energy, which not only makes this house green, but also reduces living costs. Number 5. The Slide House can you imagine growing up in a house designed around a three-story high slide and where your home functions not just as shelter, but is also meant to be a fun place that nurtures happy childhood memories? The slide house in the Nakomaguro neighborhood of Tokyo was built to be such a place. This unique home in Japan is a rectangular building with a staircase that wraps all the way around one side of the house, connecting all three floors. A staircase goes around the other side of the house. On each floor, the occupants can decide whether to descend via the stairs or slide. It was designed by Level Architects for a couple with three young children who wanted their kids to have lifelong joyful memories of their childhood home. The main living area is located on the second floor. Keeping with the goal of creating a playful home, there is an enclosed ball pit at the center of the living space. The high ceiling in the living, dining, and kitchen area allows air and light to diffuse throughout the large space, but a sense of unity is maintained by the six meter long built-in sofa bench that runs along the wall. From the outside, the house looks so unassuming that it might be mistaken for a small warehouse. The perfect camouflage for all the fun to be found inside. Number 4. The Seashell House Many have wondered what life would be like living in a seashell. At least, I assume. Well, either way, that was the exact inspiration behind the beautifully crafted Nautilus. This giant seashell house is located in Mexico City and was built and designed by Javier Sanazian and was built back in 2006. The house features a smooth front facade met with a giant wall of colored mosaics, lighting up the living space in a stunning rainbow effect. Whether you think it looks like a giant snail or seashell, the home is definitely quite strange. But it was actually designed to blend in with the natural surroundings in what Senezian liked to call a bio-architecture. Inspired by the work of Gaudi and Frank Lloyd Wright, the house is dominated by smooth surfaces, spiral stairs, and natural platings that make it feel like you're living inside a shell. It's a real house built for a young family with two children who were tired of living in a conventional home and wanted to change to one integrated to nature. Number 3. The Carrot House You probably heard of this one as it's the world's skinniest house. Designed by Polish architect Jakub Szczeny, I believe that's how it's pronounced, the Carrot House in Warsaw is wedged inside a four-foot crevice nicknamed a Cushion of Air. That's also between two buildings. The Garrett House stretches over 30 feet tall, but is simultaneously only 28 inches wide at its narrowest point. Thinner than a stovetop and just 4 feet wide at its widest. With just 46 square feet of floor space and a world record for narrowness under its name, the Carrot House manages to fit a bedroom, bathroom, a kitchen, and two beverage refrigerators in the span of three floors. The first floor features nothing but a staircase at the second. However, when the staircase is retracted, it makes for a pleasant, although quite claustrophobic, living room. To get from the second floor to the third, you must climb a white ladder. Built in 2012, Szczeny's narrow masterpiece is legally classified as an art installation, because it doesn't meet Polish housing codes, but in practice it serves as a residence nonetheless. Constructed as a memorial to his family killed in the Holocaust, the Carrot House is named after Edgar Carrot, the Israeli filmmaker and author who was spontaneously asked by Szczeny to be the house's first tenant. After Carrot agreed to the deal and lived there for a number of weeks, the Carrot House became open to traveling writers for the night's stay. As of today, the Carrot House is open to all visitors to Warsaw, so long as it's not undergoing maintenance. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it on over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. The Cliff House Our best pick for today shows a house complete with a swimming pool literally suspended under a cliff, making engineers and architects around the world face palm simultaneously. But given the fact that there are actual cliff houses are out there, is this photo even real? Well, the short answer is no. It doesn't even exist in the real world, but rather a striking piece of digital art made for an advertising campaign for, of all things, concrete adhesive. 
This insane Cliff House image was one of several produced by the creative advertising agency JWT in 2013 to promote a line of Fester brand construction products. The Somos Mas de lo que imaginas, or the We Are More Than You Imagine campaign featured a line of Fester construction products performing amazing and improbable feats, such as securing a house to the underside of a cliff. The advertisement can still be found on Fester's Facebook page. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The Pole House This house is as dramatic as it is simple. Designed and built by F2 Architecture, the Pole House overlooks the Great Ocean Road in Australia and takes advantage of its location and spectacular views in a very unusual way. The plot on which it was built is a steep hillside which obviously presented a challenge. The architects came up with the most intriguing solution. They built a concrete platform on a 13 meter high pylon and they put the house on top. By elevating it like that, they put an emphasis on the views, but were faced with a second challenge. There was no way to comfortably access the house. To solve this problem, the architects also built a narrow concrete bridge which links the house to the hillside. Pretty simple, honestly. Which insane house would you like to live in? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want more videos about amazing places? Click on any of the videos you see on the screen. As always, thanks for watching and we will see you all next time.